All right. So, yeah, we are back in Guesty. So, um, man, I suck at making an intro. Okay, so remember last time when I played Guesty, where I ha where I basically played all all the events I missed and stuff, and like checked out every skin that I at least got from those events, you know, like um, like the G T H R event. Um, what else? What else? Um, you know, the Null event, the Nocto event. Yeah, there was a lot of events like currently in Guesty, especially currently um the Clash event, which I'm pretty sure it's still here, right? Yeah, see, right here on um, the Clash event. And yeah, there's also another skin. There's also another skin that actually got added here called Big Joe. Which is obviously like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and stuff. You get it. And yeah, there, the thing is, there was like. Yeah, let's just. Yeah, there. I guess you could say like there, like a part two has been added to the Clash event and stuff. Uh, meaning that like more, you know, more Clash skins got added. Including like this ancient one that would. Hold on. I'm pretty sure it's still here, right? Oh, that's right. God damn! It. Okay, sorry about that. Just... Alright, let me just... Yes. Okay, um... Yeah, see these two skins. King Conqueror and, um, Tuski Lisa. So, yeah, these are, like, the two, like, new skins that got added during, like, the part two of the Clash event and stuff. So, yeah, um... And yeah. Also, there um, two new bundles actually got added. Yeah, two new bundles. The Curse Eater and the Patch Face. Um, which, the Curse Eater, I, I actually have equipped it right now. And I and I actually found this out, but there's also, like, a new, like, Godly in, like, the Daily Shop and stuff. And it's called... Yeah, the Soul Lantern. Yeah, pretty cool. So, yeah, yeah. This, yeah, the update was basically just a part two of the Clash event. Like, some skins got added in the shop, like, in the Daily Shop and stuff. Like, two new bundles. A lot of new Clash skins and stuff, which I didn't get most of them, so... Kind of pretty sad. And yeah, now recently, by the time I'm recording this, um, two new Valentine's events have been added and stuff. Like, see right here, you have to collect 100 Red Heart tokens. And for this one, you have to find one secret coin and complete the chapter. Which I'm... And yeah, you, you have to only do this in player mode, so... Yeah, also right here, um... Yeah. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of things in, in that update right now, right now, like, like it, it, it was quite a lot. And yeah, what I usually do about these guesty events videos is I would try and like get like all like ho like try and get the skins that I can get and stuff, you know, L like and stuff. Um, okay, hold on. So yeah, what I basically do about these guesty events videos and stuff is I would like like when all these events ha are happening, I would try to get all the skins that I could get and stuff, like all the weapons and stuff, yada yada yada, and then I would basically just take all of those and then just form them into a big video, you know, so that I want, so that I, so, you know, I wouldn't just, like, like, mix, like, just make every single video about all the damn events, you know, because that would mean quite a lot. But yeah, since the Clash event, by the time I'm recording this, is any one day left, oh, yeah, you have to, like, collect 100 heart tokens for, like, um, the Valentine's event and stuff, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. So, um, set, yeah, since the Clash event by the time I'm recording this is like ending in like one, like one day. I think it's best at. I think it's best to just review like the things that were in that Clash update and stuff. You know. So yeah, by the time this video is most likely uploaded, um, yeah, the Clash event is already gone. So yeah, or maybe when this video, I, I look, I, I, I sometimes don't know when these videos are gonna be uploaded, so it really depends. Okay, so. Yeah, but anyways, um, let's just let's just review like the skins and stuff, you know, and yeah. So yeah, this is the Curse Eater, which is like also from a well like a well known anime and stuff, you know. Um, I guess the anime has something to do with this worm, like worm thing, or whatever. Yeah. Um, and yeah, his weapon, the arc, and also yeah, the effect, the tasered worm and stuff, which for some reason, like like all these other effects, like the Gia's on fur dance and the duelist on um, dance are are like FX like effects, but this one from what I saw, this uh, this is not even considered an FX effect though. Like, look, you'll you'll see. Okay, hold on. Let me just get one of my alt accounts into the clear, so that you can see the, the effect better. Since trust me, this effect is um quite like a huge one, honestly. So yeah, so yeah, let's just all right. So yeah, this is the Curse Eater skin with his arc weapon and the tasered worm, which is really just this worm and stuff. Yeah. 
pretty crazy skin, honestly. So, yeah. And both of these were 1,250 bull buck. Yeah, and I can definitely tell why it's that damn expensive and stuff. Because, I mean, look at this. Look at, look at, the, look at the cool looking effects and stuff, you know? He's even riding the goddamn tasered worm and stuff, you know? Pretty crazy. Alright, anyways, let me just show you what the effect looks like. And trust me, um, it's quite flashy and, like, ha may it maybe has some epilepsy, so, um, if you're, uh, like, if you're sensitive to that kind of stuff, then probably just, yeah, probably just, like, like, skip to this time card, like, popping up on the screen right now. So, yeah, anyways, um, yeah, here we go. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, the last time I actually used this Curse Eater skin, actually, uh, the effect was, like, a lot more goddamn flashy and stuff and a lot more crazy, but I, I guess they kind of reduced that and, like, kind of cut, like, chilled it, chilled, chilled it a little bit and stuff, you know, to, like, probably avoid any, like, seizures from people or whatever from the game getting taken down. Yeah, you get it. So, yeah. That's crazy indeed. All right, so now let's just kill this person. See? Very insane. And yeah, for the Valentine's events, we have, like, skins like the Jenna skin. I'm pretty sure you already guys know know her, so I'm not even going to explain it. The Soul com um, Completus. Yeah, whatever. Um, The Flesh. The Fallen Affection. Okay, anyways, this is Patch Face. And the thing that I found out about this um, skin, actually, is that it actually has two, like, different kinds of skins and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, you'll, you'll probably see, like, later on in the video and stuff. But, yeah, for now, this is the first version of the skin and stuff, you know. I don't exactly know which anime this is from, just, like, the Curse Eater. So, if any of you could p possibly, like, like tell me which, it, which anime it's from, then that would be helpful of you. Um, and, yeah, with its... Um, tonic, tonic weapon. I hope I'm getting that right and stuff. And also the patchworks um effect. So yeah, let's just get one of my alt accounts out in the out in the world. All right, there we go. And now this is what the okay. Let's just wait for that to. All right, now this is what the effect looks like. Wow. Interesting. I mean, like, a lot more or less, like, crazier than, like, the Curse Eater's, like, effect, so, yeah. Yeah, I could definitely tell, I could definitely see why these, like, skin, like, these bundles were pretty damn expensive and stuff, since, you know, like, their effects and stuff, like, like, you know, the skins, like, the weapons, yeah. They're pretty ex ex insane bundles. Like, honestly, the more skins, like, like, Guesty releases, like, the more, like, crazy there are, honestly, yeah. Okay, I was, as I was saying about the skins, yeah, like, Jenna, Soul Completus, um, I hope I'm getting that right, Fleshed, um, the Fallen Affection, the, the REA, the REA, bruh? Yeah, the, I, I think that's, like, the, one of the few, like, impossible skins to get, oh, and it's, like, a fit, Valentine Spider, ooh. And it's, like, blocking this one, the Quake, yeah. And all the... Hold on a second, where... Oh, yeah, it, it's right here now, so... Yeah, all of these skins are unlimited and stuff, especially the Chroma Life End. Yeah, yeah, there's also... Yeah. Pretty cr pretty crazy. Okay, but yeah, now we're getting to the shop skins. The first one being the King Conqueror and stuff, which, it, which obviously I know this one is from Dragon Ball Z and stuff. And yeah, it's basically just like a golden reskin of, like, the other skin from the Clash event. The cane, which I'm pretty sure for a split second you actually saw, so, like, right here, yeah, the cane, so, yeah, yeah, and it's also ancient rare, rarity, and, and the thing is about the skin, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm, I think I was one, like, one of the first people to actually get this ancient skin, like, like, every single time I went to the trade island and stuff, I, and I checked people's in inventories and stuff, like, 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 almost everyone didn't have this king conqueror for, like, pretty sure days and stuff you know so like i'm one of those few people who actually um got the king conqueror and i can definitely see why no one actually got it you know why because they spent thirteen thousand gems on it yes you heard me spending thirteen thousand like thirteen thousand gems on just some reskin of a of the king skin from god the goddamn clash event and it's ancient rarity so i'm not even complaining but yeah 
yeah, when I went to a few Trade Island servers, actually, some people like n like knew that like knew that like I spent thirteen thousand gems on a, on a goddamn like you know King Kong skin and stuff, and they they were like literally com like they were literally they. <laughs> They were like concerned about me. I'm pretty sure you know like even I'm pretty even like the tester You know like Sir LARP like you know like the guy who has you know like Sir LARP 1 and stuff You know that guy and stuff like he even he even like saw that I actually ha bought this skin and was like Yo, no way someone actually bought it and she like Yeah, yeah, I'm really that desperate. Okay, shut up. Okay, then anyways, um Yeah, yeah, that's not a bundle or anything. I mean obviously it's like a shop skin so yeah, anyways, let's just kill them, I guess. Yeah, and I just put the domain judgment and stuff since that kind of fit, fit it, honestly. Oh, and also, the thing is, um, during, like, my game, during, like, my playthrough for, like, you know, um, yeah, the part two of the Clash event, I was actually able to, like, trade in some skins and stuff for, like, for, like, you know, more, like, Christmas 2023 event skins, you know? Like, including this one. Yeah, anyways, this is the, this is the drawing globe, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, this is not one of those, um, like, Frobux event skins and stuff. And, yeah, from what it looks like, it's like some kind of spider, like, sp tentacle spider or something. I don't exactly really know. Are these, like, heads or, like, like, corrupted eyes? I don't really know that much about this. Yeah, now that we're done with the bundles, we can just, like, review the rest of the skins here and stuff, since they don't have, like, their own... Yeah, we get it. Alright, so, yeah, this is another one of those Frobux event skins, and this is the... This is the Agent... Agent, um, 2120, a.k.a. Agent Batman or something, you know? Like, you were, you guys remember Agent 7 from, like, Chapter 8 and stuff? Yeah, that's literally just him being Batman, because, um, of course... We need justice. Anyways, ne next up is the Builder Biss, which is another, which is another one of, which is another one of those um, Christmas skins from like the Christmas 2023 event and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, All right. yeah, he's like he's floating. Yeah, a little floaty boy, huh? Like the weapons like behind him, like upside down, huh? Very magical. The thing I find funny about like Guesty nowadays. Is that there are a lot more godlies, more than like legendaries, like rares, um, uncommon and common, like, like, at at all and stuff. Like, there's a lot more godlies than any of the other rarities and stuff, which I find super damn funny because nowadays Guesty is like just making more godlies and legendaries and stuff. Because now when it comes to like events like these. Like, you're, you're only gonna find godlies and stuff, you know, fucking... Yeah, anyways. Um, next up is Remy. I'm pretty sure most... Some of you guys already know who this is from. Obviously, it's from... It's Ramona Flowers from goddamn S Scott Program. Yeah, like, when when this, when the update came out and stuff, I immediately knew who this was and stuff. Like, yeah. It, it it's, it's literally just... It's... <laughs> I just find it so funny that, like... I mean, yeah, yeah, let's just say I did not even expect Ramona Flowers or any Scott Pilgrim characters to actually appear in, like, you know, the Clash event. Uh, since, you know, like, Cla the Clash event is, like, literally, like, an event for, like, the anime, like, anime skins and stuff. But, I mean, it does make sense for Rami to to be there since, like, recently, you know, the anime adaptation of Scott Pilgrim. Like, Scott Pilgrim takes off, which I did not even finish the full series and stuff, so, Yeah. But yeah, let's just say I did not expect Ramona Flowers to even be in here. But yeah, still pretty surprising and pretty cool. So yeah, anyways, let's just go back down here. And yeah, next up is t um Tsuki. Yeah, Tsuki. Yeah, I did see. Like, wasn't it from Moonlight? Moon. Hold on. Moon. Yeah, I do remember seeing this character a lot of times. I think. Hold on. Yeah, I swear I've seen this character before. I just can't remember the name of it. Yeah, it's... Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's like th from this anime, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, yeah, it even has Tezuki, like, in the name as well, so... Yeah. Yeah, I did see this character multiple times before, I just... I just couldn't remember the name and stuff, you know, so... 
Yeah. Anyways, next up we have Dreamy. Yeah, this is another one of those skins from the part two of the Clash event. Yeah, just a pretty simple skin and stuff. Not not that big and stuff. Not that deep. Like, like not like not like that special like skins. You know, like unlike Freedom or whatever. Like, you know. Yeah, you get it. All right. Anyways, um. Yeah, next up is Halo, which, um, I do not know what anime this one is from, so, um, yeah. Sorry I do not know most, m most of this, m yeah, sorry I do not know most of the Clash skins from, like, their original animes and stuff. Like I said, I'm not that into, into anime, but my nephews are, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. How many times have I said yeah in my video? Alright, next up is Number. So, yeah, this is Number. I get. I guess her anime has to do something with numbers, maybe. Like I said, I don't exactly goddamn know. So, um, yeah. If 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 any of you kind souls, like I said before, like want to like comment all these like animes that I do not know of and stuff that like ha that have some of their skins featured in the Clash event, um, then please do so, and you could be like kind of kind, you know. You know, your comment will probably be harder by me and stuff. Probably pin maybe. Um. Anyways, now we have guilt. Like, not, like, not, like, guilt, like, like, feel guilty or whatever, like, guilt. Like, without, like, the U and stuff. So, yeah. So, that's it. She gotta, she gotta have that, like, emo, like, vibe, like, clothing and stuff, you know? Yeah. I mean, here we are. I definitely know which one this from. Um, and this is Kane, a.k.a. just Lord Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. And, yes, it's the character... Who, the character who says monkey yeah we literally just reviewed like the the king conqueror and stuff and yeah the king conqueror like i said is literally just a reskin of goddamn like yeah it's literally just a reskin of like like kane and stuff you know and it's an ancient rarity so yeah yeah all right anyways now let's just keep going down yada 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 all right and yeah now we're on to the next shop skin and the final one the 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 yeah the Tsuki um Lisa skin yeah it's basically just Lisa from like Yesi chapter three as Tsuki and stuff you know I mean I don't see any of the Lisa and stuff all they all they did was just like change her face I'm pretty sure and stuff like but yeah it's Lisa so okay yeah thankfully this godly was actually like only like twenty five hundred like or no yeah. Um, yeah, 25,000, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, at least it wasn't as expensive as the goddamn King Conqueror. Yeah. And yeah, um, anyways, now next up is the Maven. Oh. What was that? What was that? What was that? I don't know what that is, but okay. Yeah, um, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys actually saw, like, saw, like, someone actually with the Maven skin and stuff when I was reviewing the Drawing Globe and stuff, so... Yeah, oh, and someone has the golden recognition. <laughs> I'm still pissed I didn't get that fucking one. Okay, wh whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, this is the Maven skin. Once again, don't know which anime this is from, so maybe possibly one of you guys actually comment which anime this girl's from. Maybe you guys are probably anime weave, so unlike me. Anyways, now let's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the last skin, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the Soul Lantern. Yeah, this is the Soul Lantern, um, one of the new Daily Shop Godlies that you can actually get and stuff, which, which of course is another, like, 50,000, 50, like, coins and stuff, or, or you could buy it for, like, 399 gems and stuff, and, yeah, yeah, not that big and stuff, basically just, you know, like a pump, like a pumpkin, like, you know, room, like a spirit or whatever, you know, who collects the soul, who collects souls and stuff, and then puts them in these lanterns then, huh? Yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, is that it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's about it and stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's literally it. That went by fast. And, yeah, obviously, expect the video of, like, the other two events, like the Desperate event, the Valentine's event and stuff. Yeah, expect videos from those and stuff probably, like, later on, maybe. Yeah, it really depends how fast I'm able to actually get, like, these skins and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, NK Studio Studio really finds ways to like make me still play this game and stuff. I've been playing. I, I've been. Yeah, when was. 
yeah, like, ever since, like, around, the, like, the beginning of January and stuff, I've been playing this game nonstop for almost two months just to get all these skins and stuff. Like, please. And if you're watching this, just let me rest for the love of God. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, that was the part two of the Clash event. Obviously, I wasn't able to get most of the skins and stuff, you know, because, like, I was kind of busy, you know. AKA just watching TikTok and stuff because I was too lazy because like, they, they wouldn't let me rest. And yeah, we, yeah, like, the skins, like, like, the, like those and stuff, yeah. Yeah, obviously, people were, people, people, like, were very fast to actually get skins like these and stuff. I don't know how, yeah, Connect 404 and stuff. Um, Spring Rose, um, Ari 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 Ra, um, yeah, Nail Striker, um, yeah. But you know, now that I forget, now that I think about it, I think I actually forgot to almost like show you the. Hold on. Yeah, I think I almost forgot to actually show you guys. Yeah, the pat the the, the second patch face skin. Nope. Yeah, see right here, right here, right here. The, the, yeah, this is the second like alt like this is like the alternative skin of patch face and stuff. I don't know if they will if if that will if that was meant on purpose or something or if like they added that like I I don't exactly know. But yeah, even if it but even if it was on accident, not gonna lie, it's pretty cool like that like patch face actually has an alternative skin and stuff. Like it's not like piggy or whatever. Like you could like choose to actually like turn that into an alternative skin. I I think it just does that whenever. Like, it likes to. Like, it's like a chance for that to happen. But, yeah, that's pretty... Th th yeah, that's kind of cool, honestly. But, yeah. Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you, like, um, if you... What, when can I, when can I go on with a day without, like, messing up my fucking life? If you have any other Roblox experiences that you want me to play, or if you, or if there's an update in a Roblox experience I did play before, but I never heard the update, and you want to remind me or ask me to play it and stuff, then suggest them on the group below my Roblox group, the Puggy YT group. You can either click the link in the description below that has very little paragraph, or you can do the long way to the Roblox, Roblox group, the Puggy YT group, and it's mostly going to be the first one to pop up. And here's the thing about the Roblox, um, group, though. You can actually suggest more than, you know, like, Ro like Roblox experiences, like you can, su you can suggest, um, you know, like Puggy Face Shorts extras ideas, like like videos for me to react on YouTube, like movie trailers, you know, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't have to be specifically Roblox experiences and stuff. It can literally just be anything. Just make sure it's not inappropriate because, of course. Also, quick note though, if the Roblox series you suggest is not Xbox support at the moment, they'll basically just say on the group wall that it's not Xbox support. But when it does become an Xbox support in the future, I will most likely and hopefully remember to play it. Also, do, also suggesting two weeks of experiences are not allowed. So, if you just give me the player experience, then boo, we can't be deleted, and always going to be first word from being exiled from the group. Oh, yeah, hold on a sec. Hold on a second. Yeah, about this. So, yeah, about this. So, yeah, see this? Um. Yeah, so, yeah, about this. So, basically, what these do, but yeah, the money is two second stuff. Um, yeah, to basically get this skin and stuff, like, you have to get, like, all of the fallen. Like, it's basically just all, every single GTHR skin and stuff and weapon and stuff. So, yeah, you basically have to get every single skin. Like, you have to get 25 Solars and stuff, like, three Angels 777s. Um, yeah, three Frost Bites, two, like, three Scarrow Globes and stuff. Yeah, you basically have to get all the following, and then click this, and then, boom, you get Midas Dusak. And then for the Limitless, you need to get, like, the, like, the Sword... Um, the Sorcerer, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's from, that was from the Clash event, but then got removed because it was out of stock. Um, the Hex Flash, the Melikar, the ha Patch Face, and Curse Eater. And then once you do that, you click this, and then boom, you get the skin. And yeah, most likely I'm not even going to get any of these skins. <laughs> Just why? Alright, now that that's done. Anyways, um, if you do suggest a real experience, or ask me or remind me to play an update from Roblox Experience that I did play before if I never heard the update and I still haven't made a video about it yet. There are two things that I have right now. Number one, I'm probably busy recording other Roblox gameplays and stuff because I usually record the suggested one last or I'm probably busy with something else, you know, like an animation or a completely different project that I haven't reeled or announced yet. But don't worry, the Roblox Experience you suggest will still be recorded by me, uploaded, yada, 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 and you'll still be created in the description below, Roblox profile, or even by chance, a YouTube channel. And I think that is a new fan art right there. So any other, any other new fan art maybe? Yeah, that's Final Destination. No? That's about it? Okay, anyways. Um, and also, do not suggest me any Roblox experiences made by, like, people in Roblox who have done no good things, you know? Like, you know, like, Big Games or, um, Game Fam, they have done, 
you know, good things on Roblox, and yet they they still have reputations and stuff like like they still have a platform. But yeah, um, you're you're coming easily, and that's not a warning. I'm just I just don't want to be associated with that, with that kind of stuff. Also, um, do not suggest me any Roblox RC3 experiences. Yeah, that one is self-explanatory. You'll be exiled from the group without any warnings. And yeah, there's actually also a new guest the eye accessory, so. Yeah, pretty cool. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. PuggyBizYT is signing off right now. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, peace.